Hello and welcome back to Raincloud server. Uh, here's something that I made so, off camera. So there's a platform here at the top of our spawn island. There's our spawn town, a warp hotel or town hall that's going to be. As you can see, there's some tree farming area. Our storage house is there. My house is there, some more houses, uh, skeleton farm is under that skull. So yeah, we have way to the top of the nether. This is something that I made quite quickly. This portal should be right above our other portal that's down there. And because of so the things, you can straight go with portal linking straight to the top so you don't basically don't have to break the bedrock which though I haven't break yet how I got it I used some boats so there was so two by two area of bedrock around here somewhere that I used that I went to the boat exited and jumped placed this boat and went inside and reason was because of this. So there's a big tower of scaffolding. It goes way high up. Actually you can see the platform up there. And the reason was to have a hoglin farm. So it doesn't have much stuff here because I only AFK for hour maybe. And I actually that's maybe dangerous place for that let's relocate I think that's a bit safer so it doesn't affect actually let's put it there so it doesn't cause any spawning here because that might cause some problems but yeah hopefully will fall uh, will spawn on this platform let's see and then there's, oops. So yeah, there's those dreams. Or was it warp fungus? Anyway, that's fungus. The hoglins will see it. They will scare off and run right inside the lava. And because of the torches, no hoglins, sorry, piglins won't spawn at all. So yeah, and there was basalt delta close by, so we can basically make a gold farm close by. I'm not sure which area around here. I haven't mapped it yet, because to have gold farm, I want to make iron farm. And to make that iron farm, first I'm going to need some space. And this is good flat area that I have. It's quite close that my other farming space. I really hope that my rope farm over there won't interfere. But yeah, I need to build it up high. I have to uh, take the measurements that I have for the farm. It's going to be about 31 by 31 if I remember right I have scaffolding so it was basically 11 blocks between the beds has to be and the beds going to be shape of let's see it is that's the place where the wheelchairs will be basically two spots for the beds then that's one two three or already messed up but anyway uh, I'll get the calculations and then I'll be back between this scaffolding there's 15 blocks between and there's about 100 blocks between this iron farm and with my crop farm that will be so I think that should be enough I've seen about 96 blocks is about something that should be 
So basically the, the beds will bring me down. So basically this is the spot where the wheelchair will be and the bed placement what do you think? It's going to be about this. Well basically of course this bed will be in this position. Yeah, I think that's the idea that I had. But of course this height is not enough. I have to make it higher. Of course I need to get some more blocks. Or do I? But yeah, what my calculation were. So if let's say this height is where I will kill the golems and the place where the villager will be has to be 22 blocks up like between so basically if this is the top and this is the bottom there has to be 22 blocks between and of course I need to get the zombies there which I will do later I have the name tags there I got my village trading it's done and yeah the flat basements is that and then the golem platform will be like around this corner and then that outer corner outer corner and outer corner so I will basically have four golem our wheelchairs spawning golems so it should be quite nice pace and then they will drop down to the lava blades iron will collect somewhere in the middle I think and there I can crack it to blocks or something like that I haven't decided that much but of course I need to get the height so it was 22 blocks between so I need I think I need 21 because that's one so yeah up we go now it's more like how it's supposed to look like for the beds so this is one pod and there will be three wheelchairs I should have all the beds heading like a head first towards them so villagers can sleep there will be that one glass block here holding and then of course other uh, like right above the head will be another glass block but of course that will be placed after I get villagers here which will take some time. Of course, the dirt blocks will be going away. So next plan is to make the platform for the golems to spawn. And let's see. So I need it. This bed. I go two blocks this way. Then I need to go one, two, three, four, and fifth block will be the platform. Then five blocks total. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. So this will be golem spawning cell, and each space will have one. Actually, I don't think I need scaffolding just yet. Next thing, we need some fence gates. And looks like I need some more. I think I need to get more spruce planks. Yeah, definitely. I have to get more. Basically, let's get temporary block. I have to 
Mm, because there's, I had to get fence gates here, and then over there. That I don't need. Oh, I can place. Uh, yeah, I get the fence gates and build this to the end. Okay, now I have all four platforms done. And they are pointing out from the middle, like towards this bed direction. So next I should start working on the pods that will hold the zombies. So let me think on how I want to make this. So basically, oh yeah, let's first try to get under this. Okay, I don't know, I'm already. So the. I'm going to need some water here to help me make this. Uh, let me think. It was it was three down. I need it. Okay, I need some air. Okay, now I need... Yeah, this is going to be difficult. That I need back. And this is that was painful. I think I'm going to have to double check this after this. I think it was this one. Yeah, this is looking familiar. should do the trick on holding the zombie so the zombie will okay basically the zombie will be here jumping and when they jump they should see the villagers that are, that are sitting there yeah like that let me just get out of here and this should be, yeah, protected. So no sun will hurt them. Uh, yeah, I have to do that for all three sides now. So yeah, this is going to be fun. Yeah, really fun. But yeah, of course I will <laughs> double check this design or that is correct one okay I made some real network up to my iron farm starting from my village breeder that I have at the moment so 
so I need 12 villages, villagers, I don't think I have that many, I think I tried looking, it shows 30 entities, but there's ocean, so I think that messes things up quite a bit. I think I might have 9 maybe, but the railroad start here, just normal rails, then there's some water pillar that hopefully works. But the moment of truth, let's see, do I get something, okay, first one, and well because I have the predator, I Okay, I, yeah, I think I need some sort of other pushing because oh no 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 yeah I don't know how well I can get those guys out I think this needs some twerking I know I have one. Git. Oh, come on. Okay, apparently this is going to take some longer time than I anticipated. So let's go see how my one guy is handling. I know he hasn't went through because of the water elevator stuff and of course because I didn't break it silly me and up we go yeah I totally forgot to do it working so I just need to push him out I didn't know I had that problem it should be I shouldn't have it anymore so let's see we should be there Is not. Um, if he went down here, no. Okay, so there's a problem. Oh, great. So I had to tear this down. Out. Okay, so if I have to replace all this scaffolding for something solid. Let's see. And he's there. Perfect. Now let's get down. Ouch. I forgot that I need to hold while holding shift. I need to go back while holding holding shift. Okay. Let's see how's 
villagers are doing in here. Uh, doesn't look like I have any good luck here. No, 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 no. Let's go there. Yeah, I need to figure this stuff out. Don't like now. So let me think. Uh, yeah, maybe I have one more glass there. Got the situation in control, well, sort of. I do now have my villagers up there, and well, it's currently they are not breeding, of course, because they're not there. So I guess my problem was because I placed that glass block that goes like they can bad find it there, so they found the way out. Yeah, so not good. Well, luckily this has always been temporary built, so I guess I need to make more proper one next. But yeah, I managed to get one baby villager off, and he's now waiting there, so there's two of those guys now. And now let's try to get a third one. If I'm not getting one, then I'm going to place a water block down there and try to push them towards that corner. Let's see. Okay, good. I got him. And let's send you off. And that should be three. I'm well I'm going to kill other some other time. Probably during a stream. And especially getting the zombies. I think it's not going to happen during this episode. Okay, as you can see, he went there. There's one thing that I want to do. So I'm going to need some blocks. Can I. No. Can I place it there? So I'm not going to need those blocks anymore. So let's get those out, out of the harm's way. Let's make some other temporary placement scaffolding here. Going to need, yeah, that. I think I'm able to. Okay, I'm not able to go there. And hopefully, he stays there. Nice. He's the same. Oh, yeah, I'm going to want to have those mine parts back. Thank you. That baby is going to cause some problems, so I'm going to think something else to do with him. Wait. So now, 
this class is done. Oh. I'll keep those just in case if something bad is going to happen. I will break that when that small villager has grown up. And next plan. Oh yeah. Just this jerk. So yeah. Next project is to make the killing platform for the golems. And let me place so this is that block. Actually, let's make straight there. Yep, I have to double check on how I make the killing floor for the golems because I didn't take measurements up before I started doing more of this in this world. This is the design I went with. And just the normal water pushing towards the lava plates. I think I'm actually just realized that I can do it with just one when I put it in the middle. Yeah, so now I only need to get the zombie in the pot to have it working. I have three villagers up there. I can go and show. And um, actually one of them escaped already, but I managed to get him back. So how I make I ho will hope that it's working. Basically just at that edge I went one block towards this way. So it just in case the golem throw, won't throw up on the edge. This should be okay. And there's my access to there if I had to do some maintenance. It's possible that I have to move this out. But I'm planning to have this one working at first. And then later on during some stream I will we'll be completing the rest. Of course, we'll just and uh, getting the zombies. So let's go up. So yeah, there's now three villagers. I accidentally left some catwalking there, scaffolding, and I went to AFK over there. And when I came back, the night has happened, and he managed to walk away from there. But everything should be now okay. And I don't think I'll be getting the zombie on camera. So it will be stream or off or something. I haven't decided yet. But that, ouch. But that will be all for today. And, oh, and sunset. So yeah. Thank you for watching and remember, night awaits you.